it's not just Adam himself. We're speaking of, remember, as I said, Adam represents the whole human family, the whole earth. Physically so, is of Adam. He'll never be the everlasting father. And as I said in Isaiah, that just dropped in, into my heart, my mind, that Jesus he said he is the everlasting one. And the word everlasting means never end. So it's only telling you this one thing now. Adam will be will come to an end. There'll be no more heaven. There'll be no more earth. There'll be a new heaven. There'll be a new earth. And everybody concerned Adam to have to be made anew and be in the lake of fire for all eternity. Adam will be no more. Is it true? Amen. Is that right? Amen. Even the earth, the entire earth that is of Adam will be no more. There will be a new one. Even the heaven, not where God dwells. But the heavens that you're looking on, where they're shooting all these missiles and everything and everything is up there, those heavens, there'll be no, will be made anew. When Peter says the heavens will be on fire, <coughs> the heavens will burn up, the thing is the space, the things up there, all of that, everything's going to be changed. God is going to make what? A new heaven and a new earth. And everything concerning Adam will be over. Now, just look at this. The Lord Jesus, where is he now? He's in heaven. What does he have on him belong to Adam? Nothing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Right now, every born again believer is only one thing you're supposed to have belong to him. What is it? Is that true? Every born again, this man, this new man, the new man, the new man, what does he have belong to Adam? You said it a while ago. Just this flesh live on. Is that right? What about your mind? No, sir. Mind is Christ. Praise the Lord. You don't have Adam's mind? Huh? No. No, no. You don't have Adam's mind? Supposed to have the mind of Christ. When you get born again, you don't have Adam's mind? New mind. Whose mind do you have? Jesus' mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2. Let's see a little bit of this new man and see what he has concerning him. Praise the Lord. What do we have for, for Adam? What do you have for Adam? What a born-again believer had for Adam. Only this fleshly body. And what must you do with this fleshly body? It must what? You must kill it. The desire and the appetite of it must always be what? Dead. Reckon yourselves all to be what? Dead. 
To what? Indeed to what? Sin. But alive unto whom? Unto God. So although you have part of heaven yet on you, it don't rule you. Is that right? It doesn't control you. Now let's deal with the mind. We're talking about this man, is that right? Now you have three men on the board, three men, Adam, which is a whole man, you have the new man, which is the born again man, or Christ going to, and Christ is the perfect man. Remember, he was made what? Perfect through what? Suffering. Jesus came from where? Adam. Did he? Yes. <laughs> Jesus came from Adam, did he? Yes. Yeah. 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 And he went to the river Jordan and became what? Newman. New and from there through suffering he went to what? <laughs> and you have somebody now to do it. Mark. Mark. Watch. <laughs> the perfect man. That's the man that God wants. God don't want this man. Even the new man, he don't want to stay here new. God wants a perfect man. He's not Adam he want. He want Jesus, a perfect man. And we also must be what? Perfect in Christ. Without, without suffering, you still don't get no way. You cannot have a, uh, you cannot have the train without the line. Huh? If you're going to run a train, you got to have the line. You got to have the train. You got everything. It's like I, 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 so I understand that. Because I understand that. We're not going to give you that right now. <laughs> we're not. We will come to that after because they're so it's so broad. We know the obedience is there because you have to be obedient, you understand, to suffer. But you have to, if you don't suffer, you won't reign. That's what he says. Is that right? If you suffer with me, you do what? Reign. All right. So he wasn't dealing with obedience right there. He was dealing with what? 
sans prier. Et l'un, il, il uh, made perfect by the things which he wanted. Suffer. So that scripture dealing with suffering, not obedience at this time, because his obedience caused him to suffer and go through. Remember now, you can be obedient, but no, I can't make it because I just, I don't see how I can do it. I'm willing to go, but no, you have to be willing to suffer. But we will come to that. Now, let's deal with Philippians chapter 2. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 2. Read one. verse 1. One person. If there, if there be, be therefore any consolation. You've got to read loud and clear. If there, if there be therefore any consolation be in Christ. Be therefore any consolation in Christ. In Christ if any if comfort of love. Of if any comfort of love. If any fellowship, any fellowship of, the spirit, of the Spirit. If any fellowship of the Spirit. If any bowels and, bowels and mercies. And if any bowels and, and mercy. Fulfill ye my joy. Then fulfill ye my joy. That ye be like-minded. That he be like-minded. Having the same love. Having the same love. Being of one accord. Being of one accord. Of one mind. Of one mind. Three. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Nothing is to be done in strife or vain glory. But in lowliness of mind. In lowliness of mind. That each esteem other better than themselves. All right. What must you do now? Esteem when you become a better. new man, you esteem others better than yourself. That's not with this man. And the one... And this new man, he certainly ought to have the mind of Christ to accept that. Amen. Is that right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Esteem others better than themselves. Others better than yourself. This is Rose. I'll teach you back. Large enough, you're holding up to go straight at me and listen to what I'm saying and heed God's word. And don't do no plain and foolishness. You have good sense. You understand? You can listen. Learn something. Thank you. Esteem others better than yourself. This is this man. And he's not just talking, he's telling you what we must what? Do. And you cannot do it unless you have his mind. Because he don't do that. Adam don't have that kind of mind. Adam is first, Adam is second, and if anything left, is Adam same one. Is that right? Amen. That's Adam for you. Is that right? But it's not so with Christ.
trust him. And the man find his life. Now, there was one that found his life. So Paul was one, before he got saved. Jesus lived what type of life? Clean life. Before he, when he was, when he was in, when he was in Haddam here, a Jew. What life did he live? Under the law. Clean life. A clean, holy life under the law. Paul said he was blameless, touching the law of blame. blame. Is that right? Yeah. But now, is salvation now? Because in this dispensation of grace, Jesus himself had to be a sacrifice for the world. Because no more the blood of bulls and goats and ever to please God. No, God don't want no more of that. A man brought sin into the world, brought death, and a man is going to do what? Bring life. And there's only one man God found worthy to do that, and that's the man Christ Jesus. Amen. So now, this is the man that God found to do that. But in this dispensation now, if you find a good life, you said, I don't smoke. Huh? Well, it wasn't made to smoke in the first place. So if you don't smoke, you just find a good, you find your life. Are you going to boast on that? Huh? I don't drink. I don't gamble. That's nice. Are you going to boast on that? No. Let every, God is in his holy temple, and let every, let all the earth keep what? Silence before him. God don't want nobody to get up and boast in his presence. Whatever you do, it must be done through Christ. That's the reason why Paul said, is no more I. But who is it? It is the Christ. Who get the glory? Not you. Not, 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 your, not your flesh. I don't drink. I don't. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. It's not I that live. But who lives? It's Christ that lives in me. It's no more I. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go back. Mine, 
I can treat it any way because it's not mine. I can destroy it. I take care of mine. I protect mine. And I can treat yours any kind. I put mine away and I use your heart. I use yours until you ain't got nothing. When I got when yours is all gone, then you can't get mine. That's look like hell, don't we? Huh? others also as much as you think of your own self. Alright? Let this mind be in you. That's the verse I want. Verse 5. Now, verse number 5, for the new man, the new man, to become a new man, you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the removing of your sins. And there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby you must be saved. There is no way a man can get their sins removed except it is done through the name of Jesus. You understand? Amen. To become a new man. Look at that. To be transformed. And renewing of our mind. Is not going to make an, a man become a new creature. You have to be born over. Okay. That's the reason why Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. <laughs> to become a new man, you must be born again. Okay. But he couldn't understand how can I get be how can I become to be born again. Can I go into my mother's womb the second time to be born again? No. You are born by the water and the spirit. That's what makes an individual a new man. It's not the same old Adamic person that you know. They look like the same. Huh? They have the same hand. Huh? Is that right? Yeah. Same feet. But they're not the same. Why they're not the same? Mind. <coughs> Their mind is gone. They have a new one. Mind. into let me use it this way an old body is it the same old body the body is still old body but the mind is what new one day God will put the new mind into a new body. That will be the glorified body. But right now, you have not your glorified body yet, do you? That if you don't think the body is whole, how many got aches and pains? I know I got them. But I got a new mind. In an aches and pain body. So somebody said, you're saying you shouldn't have aches and pain. But I'm certainly going to have aches and pain as long as I remain in this body. But when I get my new body, I won't need no aches. No, I won't have no aches and pain. I will fly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. That's the reason my, my uh, uh, Moses said, uh, a few years, and then I'll do what? I'll fly away. <laughs> Somebody said, call it Moses, said fly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, you still have the whole body.
don't you know what you do now where sin is concerned? Your sins have been washed away. All your sins are gone. Every sin that you have committed from the day you were born, even that you were born with, had the Adamic sin. When you get baptized in Jesus' name, all those sins are washed away. That's the reason why you are baptized in Jesus' name for the what? Remission, remission means removing of all of your sins. So you're in a body free from sin. You are made what? Free from sin. And you don't go back and do no more what? Sin. You keep your body on you. Is that right? Amen. See, it will come and say, Steal. He said, get behind me, Satan. Yes. Will you steal as long as you tell him to get behind you? No. Huh? No. You never, never will ever have sin because you won't obey him. He come back to let you do wrong, but you won't. Because you have a new mind. You see, when you have that mind out there in Adam, everything Satan said do, you said, yes, Satan. You do it. Is that right? Yeah. But now you don't have the mind of Adam. You don't have this Adamic mind any longer. You're not controlled by Satan any longer. What must you do now? Let this mind be in you. Philippians 2.5 Let. Mm -hmm. Let this mind. Huh? Let, let, the word let mean allow, allow it, yeah. allow it, because you lost the one you had. You know, when you started to live for the Lord Jesus and begin to do different, you don't drink no more, you don't smoke, you don't gamble, you don't curse, you don't swear, you don't run the street and all them things. Some folks say you lose your mind and you really tell the truth because you lost it. Because if you don't lose your mind, you can't get Jesus. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. That's the truth. So we lost it and pick up the mind of who? Christ. So let this mind be in you. Be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. When you get baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, and even before you get the Holy Ghost, huh? Satan is not in the middle. Satan is out. He's cast out. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And now, when Satan is cast out of the building, you haven't got the Holy Ghost in there. You have to be guided. You have to live of somebody else's mind, and that's the mind of Christ, you must be told how to what? Live. Because the Holy Ghost comes to lead and guide you, but you haven't got the Holy Ghost yet, so you've got to teach it. You know what I do? I talk the Word. And the Holy Ghost do what? Because the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. And you that have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost brings to remembrance the Word that I have taught you concerning what God wants you to do. But he said, Bishop, I don't have the Holy Ghost yet. I, I was just baptized in Jesus' name. So you are taught the Word and you live by what? The Word. 
And although you haven't got the Holy Ghost on the inside, the Holy Ghost is on the outside telling you, you remember what Bishop said? Isn't that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. And when you are filled up with the Holy Ghost and walking with the Lord now, with the mind of Christ, who is on the outside trying to get in? Satan is trying to get me in. So he sent your friends to you. I heard that you went out to the church and get baptized. What's wrong with you? Is that the only church anyway? Why you have to go to that one? The reason why they say that one because you see that one is strict. <laughs> because some of them, some of them that call themselves church, they let you drink. You can gamble, you can smoke, you can sell dope, you can smoke dope, you can do anything. They don't bother you. Is that right? Is that the truth? I don't, I don't know of any of these church, Catholic, Methodist, what not, call anyone in and say, listen now, I heard that you sell selling dope. They don't, they don't bother with that. All they want is to be in their big Lincoln and big, oh, what do you call it? Limousine. They don't, they don't care what you do. Mm. Well, let me say this. The Lord cares what you do. Yes, Is that right? Yes, you got to let this mind be in you. Whose mind? Christ. Christ. mind, who are you going to act like? <laughs> now, why did you think they call the believers those that was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost at Antioch? Why did you think they called them Christian? Christ-like. Because they were acting like Christ. So they called them what? Christian means Christ-like or crisis. Praise the Lord. So now everybody that has the mind of Christ act like Jesus. Praise the Lord.
Let's pay it back. We used to have, we used to have a very bad mind, don't we? Because we used to have bad mind. Huh? Isn't that right? Whatsoever come from the mind, go to the mouth. You will hear somebody talking, where it come from? The mind is the radio station. No, you don't get no news except it come from the station. This mind collects everything. Is that right? That is true. This mind collects everything. Good and evil. What you have to do, what you have to do, you have the power to dismiss 